بذكر الله ترتاح القلوب وتنزاح المتاعب والكروب أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك على هذا النبي المبارك وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعه إلى يوم الدين اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما يا رب العالمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم نور قلوبنا بأنوار معرفتك ومحبتك وخشيتك وذكرك يا رب العالمين اللهم ارزقنا الصدق والإخلاص واليقين وأخلاق الصالحين اللهم ارزقنا الشوق إليك والأنس بك واجعل قروة العين في الصلاة يا رب العالمين اللهم احفظنا الإسلام والمسلمين وبارك فيهم في هذه البلاد وفي كل مكان يا رب العالمين اللهم ارفع عنا البلاء والوباء والأمراض والأسقام برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اشفنا واشف مرضانا وجميع مرضى المسلمين وارحم موتانا وجميع موت المسلمين وارحمنا إذا ناصرنا إلى الموت يا رب العالمين آمين يا أرحم الراحمين أما بعد In believers السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته صبحكم الله بالخير طبتم وطال مشاكم وتبوأتم من الجنة منزلة May Allah سبحانه وتعالى accept our salah our good deeds and forgive our sins أمين يا رب العالمين In believers still with class تفسير in تفسير سورة المجادلة أو المجادلة chapter 58 58 and this chapter as we mentioned before has major three major topics speak about the social uh, problem and how to solve that concerning talaq of the heart the force by the heart that's before islam in jahiliya and it is muharram to do that so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explain and how to deal with that situation if that happened. And speak the next topic about Al-Yahud, Jewish of Medina. They used to hurt Prophet Sallam and uh, uh, believers. So how to deal with that situation, Rasulullah Sallam and Sahaba, radiallahu anhum. And Al-Munafiqoon, the third topic, Al-Munafiqoon wa Al-Mushrikoon. And we reach to Al-Najwa, Al-Najwa. But when we reflect in the chapter, SubhanAllah, from the beginning to the end, there is secret line, collect all the ayat, verses together. Wow. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for all the topics, three major topics and the details after that. All the secret line in the chapter speak about the companionship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with everybody individually and congregation with everybody and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want to confirm and assure the meaning in the heart of believers Allah with you yaqeenan is not talking yaqeenan Assuring, confirming Allah with you. And get the story of this lady, Khawla bint Ta'laba, with the Rasul, and uh, before that with her husband, what happened? No one see them, just Allah. And she went to complain the situation to the Prophet. No one heard them. The lady, Khawla bint Ta'laba, and a Rasul. Even Aisha, she was in the, uh, in the room, in the same room, the same room. But she couldn't hear both. Allah heard them. 
Subhanallah. And then ayah speak about Ma'iyatillah. Three, Allah the fourth. Five, Allah the sixth. Less, more, Allah with. So this the secret and Najwa, gonna speak today. Now, and Najwa, private conversation. Huh? Whispering together, two persons. So the secret line in the chapters, ayat, speak about companionship, ma'iyatillah. Companionship with everybody. Should have yaqeen, yaqeen. Assuring, confirming, certainty about ma'iyatillah tabaraka wa ta'ala. If the person carry that, wallahi, hal dunya <laughs> gonna be changed. The dunya gonna be changed to be better for everybody. So the ayah, of today, number eight. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alam tara ila alladina nuhu an al najwa. Humma yaudun lima nuhu an. Wa tana jauna bil ithni wal udwan. Wa maasiyatir rasul. Wa ida jauka hayyauka bima lam yuhayyika bihillah. Wa yakuluna fi anfusihim. Laula yuadzibuna allahu bima nakul. Hasbuhum jahannam. Have you not considered those who were forbidden from Najwa? Najwa, private conversation. Two together come out of congregation, group of people, two come together and talk privately, whisper to each other. That's in Islam is forbidden. It's forbidden. You can explain why next ayah. So and this is the meaning of Najwa. They talk together, eh, two persons, out of group of people. Same, you can that in khutbah, about two or three months ago. And, and that's clear in, in, community, in communities like us. We have diversity, background, different languages, different cultures so we stay on table together this is Arab this is American this is uh, Pakistani this is uh, such and such Chinese whatever and then we start to talk by their language while others don't understand what they are talking this also Najwa it's also Najwa is not fit Islamically we should speak one language one language okay if the person one or two doesn't know the language so somebody voluntarily translate for them but we should speak one language why to avoid that situation and najwa allah speak about najwa as it's from shaitan it's from shaitan. why could that mean something in the heart when you speak privately, speak against me, against what's going on? Many questions come in the mind, right? And change a heart. Change a heart is a big issue, big problem. So adapt etiquettes, social etiquettes, when we stay together, one language. If we know the language, all of us, and it's still being two persons to talk together privately, still that's wrong. So here I had to speak about Yahud. Yahud used to do that. He is Jewish. Jewish used to do that. And in the meeting, al Rasulullah with a Sahaba, Jewish and others. So they took together, together. Rasulullah Sahaba watching them and they yani, heard about that. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to avoid doing that. Even Yahud don't do that. Yahud is not Muslim. So why the because the community of Medina, it was community for all. You know, Rasulullah Sallam, when he came to the Medina, he made constitution. Everybody signed on that from the leaders of the tribes of Medina about uh, what benefit and avoid what hurt. So they include Islamically from the side of, of culture, of, of uh, Etiquettes, social etiquettes to avoid doing that. Okay. And also Munafiqeen. 
المنافقون used to do that hypocrites and some صحابة uh, who uh, يعني come to Islam recently doesn't know this adab this this akhlaq so here is the ayah speak about these people who used to learn have you not considered those who were forbidden from private conversation then they return to that which they were forbidden and converse among themselves about sin and aggression and disobedience to the prophet and when they come to you look at that to the first khuluq they would speak privately the second khuluq look at that they greet you with that word which we uh, which allah does not agree greet you what that you know tahiyya greet tahiyya assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh assalamu alayka ya rasul allah this used to sahaba too these guys used to do assalamu alaykum assalamu alaykum to assalamu alaykum assalamu alaykum what difference sam did in arabic language sam did in arabic language so when I say Assalamu Alaikum means <laughs> death come to you. Death come to you. So one time, Rasulullah sitting in Aisha with him, <clears throat> radiallahu anhu, Muna Aisha. And they came Yahud and said, Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum. <laughs> so who heard Aisha, heard them, she, she responded uh, aggressively. Aggressively. So said, come, come, come down, come down. I said, he responded to respond them, said, and you too, <laughs> and you too, upon you. So I, I come down with Aisha. So this is akhlaq of <coughs> Yahud of Medina. Uh, not all, but some of them, they heard Rasulullah uh, so much, this among uh, what they heard Rasulullah So uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, here when I say, the secret line, eh? knowing everything, <coughs> companionship, all knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when they come to you, to greet, they greet you with that word by which Allah doesn't greet you and say among themselves, subhanallah, so among themselves, no one knew, no one know that except Allah. So that dalil, if they have fiqh, if they have uh, يعني, uh, علم, or open mind or open heart to believe in Muhammad because no one knew that even Prophet Muhammad so how Muhammad know that uh, Allah al khabir al alim subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, and say among themselves why does Allah not punish us for what we say sufficient for them is hell which they will enter to burn and wretched in the destination. SubhanAllah, as if mocking, uh, mocking, mocking about Rasulullah by the, this word, how? Uh, we say bad word is about Muhammad. Why God doesn't, doesn't uh, punish us? So Allah responds to them by two points. Number one, Allah knew what you say. And Allah wait for you, Yawm al qiyam You're going to receive hurt and punishment. And then, adab, ta'aleem, teaching, instruction to the believers, as sahaba and all the ummah. Ya ayuha al-ladheena amanu, idha tanajaytum, fala tatanajaw bil-ithni wal-udwani wa ma'asiyati al-rasul, wa tanajaw bil-birri wa taqwa wa taqwa Allah al-ladhi ilayhi tuhsharu. So here, Allah open, the matter for Najwa. Mm -hmm. If there is kind of Najwa, no. sometime you need to do that. You need to do that. Some business, some uh, social family relation shouldn't be public. Should be just only between two persons to talk. But if there is kind and necessity, darura for that, make it on goodness, righteousness, not for that. This I speak about that. We have believed when you conserve, converse, sorry, converse privately, do not converse about sin and aggression and disobedience to the Prophet ﷺ, but converse about righteousness. If there is darura, if there is necessity for that, 
make it on the piety and righteousness and fear Allah to whom you will be gathered. And then get the reason why it is forbidden to do that. Private conversation is only from shaitan, Satan, that he may grieve those who have believed. Shaitan, when I hurt believer, when I hurt Muslims, so make that. But he will not harm them at all except by permission of Allah. And upon Allah let the believers rely. Tawakkur Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't grieve by that uh, 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 bad behaviors. Tayyib, is shaitan use that way, manner, akhlaq, to make separation, to make hurt, to make uh, uh, sadness in the heart of believers, make separation between believers and so on. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speak about another khuluq. We're going to close by that. Another khuluq, another uh, manner, uh, etiquette, etiquettes. When we have a majlis like that, uh, or majlis ilm, majlis uh, family uh, sitting, saying subhanahu wa ta'ala, يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا قيل لكم تفسحوا في المجالس فافسحوا يفسح الله لكم وإذا قيل انشزوا فانشزوا يرفع الله الذين آمنوا منكم والذين أوتوا العلم درجات والله بما تعملون خبير. We have believed when you are told space yourselves space yourselves some people when you come to the masjid, for example, they have a special or private spot, eh, place. Every salah come in that place. Every time come, come in that place. That's again sunnah. Sunnah, one time here, one time here, there, change the places. For two reasons, or for two, you know, uh, rules. Number one, to give chance for others. Chance for others. Eh? You sit down here, here, and here. Don't, it's not rent. <laughs> it's not rent. Oh, rent the place? No. It's public place, number one. Number two, benefit the person himself. Each place you pray in it can be with this for you, Yawm al Qiyamah. And if you do Salah just only here, here's that place, you're going to witness for Yawm al But if you do here, 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 you will have many, many witnesses, Yawm al -Qiyam. Not one place, but different places. Yawm al Qiyamah, going to witness for you, inshallah. So here, that uh, Rasulullah Sallam, uh, Quran, you alim. Mm. Okay, why do you say children, the front line foot. Why, why do you also tell in the front line foot? First line is, yeah. is, is a, a blessed. Okay, but now you say sit here and there and every instead of the first one. Yes. I believe when you come first, you should get closer to the Imam. For, yes, that's right. That's good. Because you come early. Yeah. And no one except you mm -hmm. come in the in the beginning. Uh -huh. You sit down here. But my advice, make it here time and mm -hmm. here time. Okay. Still in the first <laughs> time okay. and here time, one time. Okay. So don't stay in one place. That's benefit you. Benefit you why, as we mentioned. You have different witnesses, Yawm al qiyam not one witness. Always the same from us. Same. same, yeah. So change the place. Okay, yeah. because <laughs> The mother always said there. Yes, yeah. And we learn. Next to you and he called. So we I'm learn. Saying. Okay. We learn. Another thing for the sunnah, we do, we do here, fard, just only one line, sometimes two lines. Do sunnah back. Yeah. Change the place of sunnah. Okay. Yeah. So make the fard in place and sunnah in another a different place. Okay. Yeah. Allahu a'lam. So here, 
Al-Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teach us to space, make space for each other. Huh? Especially when the masjid is crowded, has many people, you know, so make space. And then, uh, space yourselves in assemblies, then make space. Allah will make space for you. And when you are told, arise, then arise. Arise, mshuzu, yani stand up, go. Sahaba, you have unique love to the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam. So, they want to stay with him for, for, for the day. While people come, different people come, want to wanna share, then, subhanAllah, when you go, now, right now, in al Rawda Sharifa, in, in Medina, in Masjid al Nabawi, same. Yeah. You go there, it's, it's, it's spot like that twice, like that place, Rawda Sharif. So, it's, it's tight for big number, big, big number. It's hard to However, get. some people, they come, stay from us till Isha. Yeah. Yeah. Till Isha. SubhanAllah. Yeah. And are waiting outside. Wanna two rakah, just two rakah. Yeah. The sunnah to do two rakah and leave. And leave. Personally, I used to go and stay Salat al Maghrib. And after Maghrib, I get out for that reason. Give us uh, others chance. Yeah. Yeah. Go back to Bab Jibreel. Bab Jibreel, subhanallah, close to the Prophet than this Rauda Sharifa. When you go Bab Jibreel, door of Jibreel, gate of Jibreel, and sit down, you, the Prophet like that, that member, between you and the uh, Prophet person, like that. Rauda Sharifa, and uh, like this wall, something like that. Yeah. Anyway, so a Sahaba used to do something like that. So Quran teach them, uh, give chance for others, for others to come and sit down and dialogue the Prophet and consult the Prophet and get benefit from meeting with the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam. Wallahu a'la wa a'lam. Wa salli allahumma wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabi ajma'ina wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Jazakumullahu khayra wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.